Judge Link, thank you for joining us here today. Uh, I understand you had a conversation with uh, Judge Devine about why he picked to run against this incumbent uh, Republican in the Republican primary, uh, Justice Medina. Can you tell us about what he had to say about that? I certainly can. Uh, myself and one other uh, person that was active in the Republican Party here in Harris County took John Devine to lunch and uh, we asked him why he was running and particularly why he was running against Justice Medina. His response to the first question was he was running because he needed a job. And secondly, he said, I'm running against Justice Medina because I can beat somebody with a Mexican name. Uh, needless to say, that was the end of the lunch, and uh, we left uh, feeling somewhat uh, uh, disenchanted with, uh, with John Devine at that, at that point. His reason for picking that person was because of their Mexican surname. Certainly. Um, and then he, made the, he was very clear on that. He said they were just easier to beat. Mm -hmm. uh, and fortunately, uh, I mean, we are as Republicans, as the Democrats, are courting the Mexican vote, and mm -hmm. obviously that is a statement that we don't want to hear. Uh, that runs contrary to what the Republicans have done in the last several years, and that is hold themselves out as the party of inclusiveness. And uh, certainly, this is, doesn't bode well for that uh, for that mantra. So, now you mentioned that. He said he was running because he needed a job. That doesn't, to me, sound like somebody is looking to be of public service, that they're just kind of looking out for their own interest. Is that the impression that you got? Unfortunately so. Uh, the law firm with which he is associated, uh, every lawyer in that law firm has run for a position this time because they're all looking for jobs. There is a $29 million lawsuit paying against the firm uh, and one of the partners individually for uh, notes totaling $29 million, and so uh, it's no surprise that they're running and no surprise that John's running and that this is his fifth attempt at seeking public office, I guess, in the last eight years, and he has been unsuccess unsuccessful four times, uh, I guess, over the last six years. Well, I would think as Republicans we can do better than just trying to find somebody that's looking out to, for their own self-serving interest, but uh, tell me a little bit about why you're supporting Justice Medina in this race. I've known uh, Justice Medina for several years. He and I served on the district courts here in Harris County together. He was next door to me, as a matter of fact, our court rooms were next door to one another. Um, and I've known him for several years. Uh, he is a very well-respected jurist. Um, he is a his opinions from the Supreme Court are well-reasoned. They follow law. He is not an activist, and uh, uh, he's uh, what we're looking for in the Republican Party. That, that theme is exactly what I've heard from many other business leaders and judicial people around town, that you know, whatever you may want to quarrel with or about him about, his rulings on the law are not one of the things that you can pick on. That's exactly right. I mean, uh, he is... Uh, well respected, and I think people on both sides. I know part of the, either the plaintiffs bar, uh, the Republican bar, people that normally vote Democrat, uh, want to keep Justice Medina where he is for very good reasons. Is that he is fair and impartial, and I think when you talk to lawyers who've been practicing for a long time, that's really what they're looking for. They want someone that's fair and impartial, and will follow the law. Um, and we all feel that. Uh, once we go down the courthouse, we get someone fair, we're going to win. Uh, and so uh, I think that's why he's so popular, and I think that's why across the board he's getting uh, pretty much uh, universal support from everyone. And we just want to remind everybody that the primary is July 31st, and early voting starts a week before that. So we uh, want to encourage everyone to turn out and vote in not just this race, but all, all the runoff races that are very important to the people of Texas. Absolutely, and there are some that are very important in, uh, for the people of Texas, and obviously some here in Harris County. So. Well, thank you for your time this morning. Thank you. It's good to talk to you.